all optics should have these, and that is a big plus for Zulissi. Howdy, Hillbilly Nation. This is American Hillbilly. <laughs> Man, good to see y'all today. What we have out here today is the Zulissi Ow. Yes, this is a 3MOA red dot. It does have shake awake or off and on, whichever one you want. So that's a pretty cool feature. I did an unboxing video on this, so I'll link it in a card up here and also in the description down below where you can go watch the unboxing on this. But yeah, so far, um, this thing's really nice. I'm liking it real well. I kind of wish it was a green dot. I prefer green over red, but um, it is a nice dot. And we're running this today on the PSA Dagger. I want to shout out Slissy for sending me this optic to try out. And also I want to shout out the PSA. So we just have a regular target uh, setting up down there. Um, I took a few shots earlier and zeroed the dot in pretty close so i'm not the best pistol shot so i'm going to use this tripod over here to kind of help try to take my air out of shooting the pistol and give the dot as good a chance as it can get okay i'll try my best here to get you guys view this dot here against that tree um i don't know what setting exactly it's on but you can see it's Nice and clear and crisp. Okay, we went up to full brightness. And there is a little star bursting on full brightness for my eye and looking through the camera too. And today we are shooting some AAC 9mm. So let's load those up. And let's just go for the center target and see how it does. Okay, I see, that's kind of hard to see. It is bullseye. Had a couple 22 long rifle shots in that target, so I thought, well, I'll just stick a piece of duct tape on there and cover it up. But yes, that one is uh, pretty much dead center, a little bit to the right. The glass is nice and easy to see out of, very clear. So far, so good. Okay, another one. Not bad. All right, so that's three in a row right there in the center, and I'll take you down there where you can see that a little bit better here in a second. But uh, let's just move up to the headshot. Um, at least that'll show up better on camera, and see if I can still keep these fairly tight. All right, another good shot. Another good shot. All right. All right, here's the first three shots. That was the first one. I think that was the second one. I think that was the third one. I might be wrong on that. But all three in the red bullseyes. Going up here to the head. And we got two in the same hole right there. And one off to the side. Code Hibbly up one and get your 15% off. So far, I'm liking this real well. Um, it's shooting good. Um, I ain't got any complaints so far, but we got a can of maters down there. So let's shoot some maters. Woo! <laughs> Man, jumped it in behind that sign. Let's see if we can go ahead and take it off, off that stand there. It's going to be a little tougher shot. The other one I shot a little high and the bullet just passed right through there. Um, didn't even knock it off. I'll try him a little lower this time. There we go. <laughs> well, it is matter worthy. Oh, by the way, your daddy called. Your daddy said, like, subscribe to this channel. <laughs> Do what your daddy says. If you're familiar with this channel, you know what? Everything has to go through the hard seltzer test. So let's see if this Lucy is worthy and see if it can take out a hard seltzer. 
Okay, let's see if this thing is hard seltzer worthy. Woo! <laughs> well, it passed the hard seltzer test. So let's go inside and uh, do final thoughts on this Zulicial. And uh, pretty dang good, but let's go inside and talk about it. Okay, my final thoughts on the Zulissi Oak. It's pretty dang good optic for the money. I'm liking it really well. Plus for the price of these. And then if you use code HILLBILLYUP1, I'll put it right up here somewhere or over here. But if you use code HILLBILLYUP1, when you go to purchase one of these, you will get a 15% discount. Yeah. Always watching out for Hibbly Nation. For that 15% off discount code, you can use it on any products, you know, the oak, the owl, anything by the Zulissi. So it don't necessarily just have to be the oak. So I always try to get Hibbly Nation the best possible discount that I can. So let's go over the pros and cons of this Zulissi oak. This gun is empty. There's no magazine in it. And the chamber is clear. Totally safe to handle. So I like this really well. I really do. One of the facts, you know, you have your sights back here with these suppressor height sights. I don't need those, but if I didn't have these on here, then that would really come in handy in case the optic would fail, you know, to light up. But two of the features that this has on it that I think every optic should have on it, top loading battery. I love that option. I hope other companies get with the program and get, you know, some type of top loading battery. And another big plus that I think all optics should have is the option to turn your optic light on or off or have shake wake mode. That way, everybody will be pleased. So if you're one of those people that just like to leave your optic on because these batteries last a long, long time. So if you like to have it on, um, then you can have it on. If you're a person that wants to just turn it on and off, you got that option. If you like to shake awake, you have that option. I mean, all optics should have these, and that is a big plus for Zulissi and their optics is that feature right there. Now, this is a red dot. Um, I prefer a green dot most usually just because of my eyes personally. But I really love the view. Uh, it's a great window, great glass. Uh, so far, what I've used it. The dot had plenty of adjustment for daylight bright or nighttime. Uh, I like that. It did get, it did starburst on me some at like the top two highest settings. But there, then again, you know, it's my eyes personally. You know, somebody else it might not even do that. But that's pretty much along the line with any dots for me personally. It shot real well. Uh, it seemed to hold center just fine. Um, we will put several more rounds through this. This this optic's probably going to live on this pistol for a while anyhow. Um, I really like it real well. Oh, also another uh, plus on these is the tactile settings on your elevation and windage. Very noticeable clicks, and so. You know, like I said before, some of those just kind of free will in there, and I'm always afraid they're going to move. And if you try to adjust them just a little bit, you know, you'll get too far. So I do like the tactile settings on this. Uh, for it's a big plus in my book. Now, depending on your personal preference, if this is a con or a pro, these buttons right here they do set flush, like. You know, you can put fingers on here. You can push. You're not going to turn it on and off. Yeah. They're recessed in there. For me personally, I have to stick my fingernail in there to turn it on or to change settings. Most usually you set it and forget it. But the difference is why you would need to be adjusting this in my point of view is if you're out shooting during the day and then at nighttime, you know, if you pull it out, that light's going to be a lot brighter at night, so you need to dim it some. So you do have to make sure you get your finger in there sideways and get the button pushed. So that could be a con for you, for some people. But maybe a pro for some people is 
you slide it in and out of your holster, it gets bumped. Uh, these are not going to be pushed and changed very easily. Depend on the person that could be a pro or it could be a con. But all in all, I like this. Um, I would suggest it to people. I honestly would. I totally honest here on this channel. I would buy it again, especially for the price. I mean, these are pretty budget friendly. And then with the 15% off code from Hibbly Up One, you know, that gets you down there to where pretty much about any household could afford one of these. They have different cuts depending on your pistols. So that's kind of nice. They're not just, you know, in one or two cuts. There are several cuts available. Also for your profile, uh, some of them have, you know, the bigger glass and stuff like that. Some of them have a little smaller. So I think um, with this Lissy, about everybody could find one that they would probably be happy with. So I guess what I'm saying, if you need a optic for your pistol and stuff and, uh, you know, you need something a little budget friendly, you know, you can jump on Amazon, use code HIBBLYUP1 and get you a pretty good optic for the price. And the reason I don't, I'm not like totally 100% with these. I mean, it's up there a long ways. I really do like it is because I've not had them long enough to really put, you know, like a thousand rounds to it to see how well they hold up. But as this channel goes on, I will be uh, letting you guys know how the optics holding up. I have one on my rifle and one on this dagger. And so as we put more rounds through them, I'll let you know if I've had any problems with them staying zero or any problems at all. So thank you so much, Ability Nation. I appreciate you guys watching. And remember, God, family, and country. And make somebody's day better, will you? And if the good Lord's willing, the creeks don't rise. We'll be seeing you again, Hillbilly Nation. I love you. One less can of hard seltzer in this world. I'm proud of myself. So this is what everybody really looks like when they take their mask off after guns, beer, and therapy. Ha <laughs> ha!